Are you sick of renting? Are you sick of paying into somebody else's asset? Are you sick of making somebody else rich? Well, you came to the right place. If you haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Victoria, and I'm a realtor and investor located here in Gilbert, Arizona. Closing deals in high heels is my thing, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as give me a follow on Instagram to stay up to date on all things Arizona real estate. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. These are the top three things you need to be doing if you plan on buying a house in 2023. Let's get into it. Number one, build up your credit and save your money. Now this seems really, really cliche. Now you don't have to have a perfect credit score in order to qualify for a mortgage. However, it's no secret that the better credit score you have, the better it is when it comes to buying a house. And when it comes to saving as well, this really helps you out because while down payment assistance is a thing, what nobody likes to talk about is the fact that you get a really high interest rate with that. And ultimately that monthly payment is nearly impossible to meet. So I'm the first agent to probably tell you this, down payment assistance is not your best bet. I understand that down payment assistance is necessary in some cases. However, it's not something that you should be relying on because again, the interest rate is crippling. You don't need that monthly payment, babe. It's not pretty. So make sure you are saving up your money, scrape up as much money as you can, and you know, keep setting aside some money every single month or every single week um, that is going towards that down payment or the closing costs. Number two, start to develop a list of some things that you might want in your house. Now, this kind of helps you stay motivated when it comes to saving because saving is definitely not easy. And when it comes to inflation and other things that take money out of your pocket, it is really frustrating to be trying to save, especially during this time in our economy. Um, however, if you kind of make a list of what you would want in a house, it kind of is like a mental vision board for you. And you kind of like, it's like a goal that you can work towards, right? So when you start to envision your house, and you like you put that in your mind like it makes it easier to save and to work on your credit and do all of those harder financial tasks like break it down to like okay how many bedrooms and bathrooms do i want do i want it to have a pool do i want like a one or two story house what kind of architecture do you like like Break it down like that and it will honestly help you stay motivated when it comes to saving, but it will also help you when you start to talk to an agent. And this leads me to number three, which is talk to an agent. I don't care if it's not gonna be another one or two years before you buy a house. It's still good to talk to an agent because real estate agents, we can be a great resource for you when it comes to planning home ownership. Buying your first house can seem really, really daunting and it is honestly a long journey from the moment where you decide, all right, I'm sick of renting to the moment where it's closing day and I hand you the keys. Like there's a lot in that process, right? So it's really good to talk to a real estate agent because once you talk to an agent, it makes it real for you. Make sure that you are starting to talk to an agent. You know, you could tell the agent like what you want in a house. We can set you up on a search and like show you some properties you might be interested in just so you can kind of feel out and get an idea for what's out there. It doesn't hurt. And if home ownership is a goal of yours in 2023 and 2024, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My contact information will be in the description box down below. I would love to have a conversation conversation with you about that. I will also leave a link down in the description where you could start your home search today. You can put in like how many beds and baths you want and all that and you can just kind of start looking at what's in the area. So I will leave all of those resources down below for you guys if you are interested. You should see another video pop up on the screen here. Feel free to watch it, grab a snack, stick around, spend some time on my channel. It really, really helps me out and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!